Hi, Cyberspheres here, back with the Realm Grinder video, episode 75, and it's just been like an hour since last episode. I've grinded all the way to the end of Reincarnation 34, and this is when I planned to try to do all the researches, like all these time wall researches. There's so many I've not unlocked now, and the reason why I haven't done them then is because I'm going to do them now, because I've heard somewhere like in Reincarnation 34, there's, a, there's like something like C460, but it's even worse, so... That's essentially the reason why. So I'm going to buy all of these, and it looks like I can go all the way up to 595, and there's 590 in every research branch, which is interesting. There's this one, which has no clue, but I'm 90% of the way there, which means it's likely a building. And then the rest of them I can't do. It looks like these 590 ones will require you to be, like, every faction, considering I can only get one of them. And that, that seems like the only researches I'm getting. Doesn't look like I'm getting anything more than, than these. It's probably, I'm guessing these 590s are just buildings. Like if I, if I purchase some buildings now, I'm probably going to be able, I can probably sort of see like what would even be 90% of the way. Like, like maybe something at, I don't know, 5,700? Or maybe if it's like inns, actually maybe it's inns. Because I've sort of forgot about inns. Like if I just buy hundreds of inns, uh, no, it's it's not inns. It's probably something else. There is actually something I can do with these buying buildings, and this is um, I can get some trophies for five thousand buildings. So yeah, trophy here, another trophy, another trophy. I can get five thousand of everything down to cathedral. So that's four trophies right there, which is pretty neat. But I don't think I'm anywhere closer to this research. And then there's also the other researches. So there's C460, which is click a million times. I've not, I do not have the right build for that. There's C435, which is spam a spell. Which, yeah, I, don't, uh, I could try that. And then there's this, this one, which is very mysterious. And then this one, which looks like a, just a time wall one. That I'll probably, I'm pro I'll probably get... Um, D435, D525, and, D and, and C460 all in the same run. That's what I'm planning to do. And then there's also this one, which I haven't unlocked because I need a different research. So I sort of want to get this 590 one, though, because I feel like that's just because I need more buildings. So what I'm actually going to do here, I am going to... I'm going to... Okay, I don't know why it's on. Okay. Um, here we go. I want, I'm essentially just gonna do a, do a normal run, except instead of being fairy line, I'm gonna be goblin, so I can get more buildings. Like I'm, I'm really guessing that 90% thing was buildings. Maybe it was royal exchanges. I probably could have tried that, and I could just use a different bloodline if, if like it still says about 90% here. So what what I can do, what I've been doing, I can sort of excavate um, to to get these faction coins. So I exit like this, and then I just, I buy all these buildings, and then I go into the research build, I just load the Dwery research build template, and then what I, what I do is I excavate a lot more to get enough faction coins to get this, the Legacy of the Dwarven Kings, which gets me more research upgrades. So, let me see, it's only 65%, I'm first going to try Royal Exchanging, so after Royal Exchanging, is this going to go up? Yeah, it is. It's about it's about royal exchanges, so maybe I should try to go for like faction coin find chance. Like, for example, this except it's zero percent. Well, it does increase it by a multiplicative fifty percent. And there's this, so maybe that will get me some faction coins. And then maybe there's something else that'll also give me some faction coins here in the spellcraft branch. I, I don't. I'm not sure. Maybe there's something here. I, I thought there'd be something, but I don't see a single thing that's giving faction coins so i mean there is no that's just max mana I, I don't know i usually just get 545 because that one is, is, is a decent production multiplier so i'll just get that and well now i can get 5,000 of each building which is nice i can get 10,000 of some of the other buildings so this gets me again several trophies so i guess that's pretty nice but that doesn't really help me get any more faction coins here. So I just need more faction coins. What I can do is I can just cast all the spells. I'm all, already up to E10 faction coins, which should be close to enough. Yeah, 98% now. So just a few more faction coins 
Like, I'm not even sure if I need, like, stuff like Spiritual Surge active. I'm also close... I also just want to say that the buildings trophies, these the last one of the series is 12,000 buildings. And I'm actually now getting pretty close. I'm at 11,500. And even with, like, these buildings, I can get up to 5,500. The inns I can get nearly 9,000 of. So you can just see how much I can get. Maybe I should just spam tax collection... And maybe, I'm thinking I, I don't even want anything other than fairy chanting and diamond pickaxe because those are the only things that will actually help faction coins, actually. And then it looks like fa this isn't even doing much. Diamond pickaxe. Wait, and I'm, I'm not even sure if fairy chanting helps at all. Like you can see, this is 1.331 E8. And if I do this, it is 1.334 E8. Okay, at least it is something. But it's so negligible that it doesn't do much. This gives... 1.2 e9 with fairy chanting so i feel like i should just don't i shouldn't do diamond pickaxe i should just do fairy chanting and tax collections i could probably get i could probably get enough royal exchanges no okay here it is increase the production of neutral buildings based on max mana that is huge like that's gonna be so huge for the research build i'm gonna make it after i get all these researches so now i think what i should do i should just go for that long run long annoying run to get the time wall researches complete so what i'm going to do i'm going to be elf faction because that gets moon blessing which auto clicks 15 times and be elf line because that's going to also auto click so this is yeah i'm doing this just for the auto clicking so i can get the 1 million clicks a little bit faster it looks like the research i can get here i can't get this 591 for some reason they're all advanced researches that like, just say your faction does not know how to research this upgrade. It's probably because I'm, I haven't, I, I'm, I'm not the dwarf, that's why. I think once I'm, once I'm a dwarf, it'll be better. Like, maybe not, yeah, now I can get it. So, I have no idea, there's no clue for it. Apparently I'm 26% of the way there. And, I, I really have no idea. I'm just gonna excavate for some faction coins here. And, I'm not even sure what research build I want. I think just anything... I don't, I'm not even going to buy researches because, I don't know, maybe there may be something here that... Like, I think all I really need is sp um, click spamming, which is just moon blessing over and over and over again. I should also do diamond pickaxe because of, of this, which means I should probably try to get it's like at least S500 to increase mana regen. But that's honestly about it. It's just going to be moon blessing, diamond pickaxe, so I can get these two... And then, I have no idea what this is. I'm apparently now 65%. Maybe, I'm really not sure what that is. And then, this one just looks like a time wall. And there's another research I need to get to even get that. Hopefully, it's something I, like, I'll get, like, C460 or, or D435. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back, like, two days later, and I have gotten all of the researches. Or at least, some of the researches. Not all of them, of course not, but I got C460, which is a million clicks in this game. It's increased the production of non-unique buildings based on the amount of clicks you made this game. It's non-unique buildings, so I don't think it's going to be the most useful one. D435 is increased the production of good buildings based on, on spells cast in this game. That could be decent, but it being an it grows over time research may not be the best. It was four hours diamond pickaxe cast time, so... Again, it was, it was like a length instead of number of casts. And then this one is increased holy light multiplier based on the amount of, of times you cast your faction spell in this game, plus 4,200%. I don't think that's a very good research. And it's literally a day and a half of good time spent in this game or this reincarnation. I have no idea. There's also this one, which actually someone spoiled it for me. I just needed like royal exchanges. And I still don't have it. Okay, but I better get more faction coins. If I if I don't have it there. Okay, I better get faction coin researches like C four hundred and C two fifty. That that should hopefully give me good faction coins. Maybe I I could even get some other faction coin researches like I can think yeah this is a good faction coin research E E thirty and then what else gives faction coins? This is. So I'll give at least a few faction coins, so I guess I'll get that. 
there anything else that gives faction coins? I'm not really sure. Here's here's a faction coin five chance one, so I'll, I'll get that. And there's not all that that many good faction coin ones. I think there may be like a a good faction coin one over here. This is is this this is just production of all buildings. Uh, I, don't, I don't I don't see any good faction coin ones here. It's, it's real exchange bonus. Maybe I feel like what I should do is uh, is maybe maybe just maybe I should just do this. And that should give me a lot of faction coins. It's only E9. Weird. It, uh, I, I thought I was going to be able to get a lot more faction coins with this sort of faction coin oriented build. But maybe that's not the best thing to do. I, it's actually, I'm actually really stumped. I did not know it was going to be this hard to get faction coins. Like at this amount of gems. I can't get... I can't get more than a few billion faction coins without waiting a lot. I should definitely get this. This is faction coins. So hopefully that will help. Is there anything else that gives faction coins? I keep saying faction coins. This helps the faction coin bonus of diamond pickaxe. So I guess I'll get that. Maybe I should just get like production ones. Maybe that will help. Like really good production. I should probably get like assistant production ones like this. Because that, that could also help things. Doubling the duration of faction spells will, I guess, indirectly help me get more ta tax collections. So I guess I'll do that. Maybe something else that buffs, like, assistance. Also, this is up to 33%. Doesn't look like I'm going to really get that. This is the one I need another research for. Unfortunately, I cannot get it. I have no idea which one that is. Hopefully, I have enough faction coins to get this research. Uh... And no, I, I don't. Maybe I should just get some buildings. Maybe maybe that will help things. Like maybe, maybe like some things are based on buildings, so that should help at least a little bit. Actually, actually, I know why. I only have seventy six assistants. Weird. I I should yeah definitely get more assistants. That would help a ton. Like even even just like an eighty eighty assistants twenty seven assistants. That's still helping a lot. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna get these. I th think there is some other like assistant ones, right? I I don't really see any more assistant ones. Uh, this is a powerful production boost that I'll just get for this run, but there's not a lot I can actually do here. This is another powerful production one, so I'll just get that for this run. Um, maybe I should get this spell duration one. I'm I'm really not sure. I'm just, I'm now up to like E10 faction coins, so I can also get the um, that. So hopefully, uh, no, I'm 99% of the way there. Okay, I just I just need a little bit more. Okay, hopefully now I have enough faction coins to get the research. Like finally, there it is. Increase clicking reward based on chance to find faction coins and auto clicks 10 times per second. This. Okay, the chance to find faction coins is OP, that's why it's real OP. The auto clicks 10 times per second is useful, but it's really the increase, increasing the clicking reward. That could be a very powerful, that's a powerful research. So, I think now I should be a different faction. I, I, I think, which one, have I, have I not been Dwangel? I don't think I've been Dwangel yet. So, I'll be Dwangel here. No, it's not Dwangel, it's Dwery that I haven't been. So it's literally just the faction that I'm normally to get like gems. So yeah, fairy, hopefully let's let's see. So is this five I was just uh, okay, this this one's just Okay, this one's confusing. Maybe I, I oh I need to be Dwery, not just, you know, dwarf. I, I, I need I need faction coins. I need to be Dwery instead of just fairy, not and I I joined the dwarves, and it doesn't look like I can get this research, so I joined the wrong faction yet again. Okay, now I'm Dwangel, and let's see, so let's see what this is. It's another no-clue research, which is really annoying. Um, progress 19%. I have no idea what this is. Is this like, uh, like Royal Exchanges? Like, if it was Royal Exchanges, that would be very harsh. I would need to get 
250 Royal Exchanges, which getting getting 200 can already be a challenge. So I'm not sure. Maybe with these buildings, it's a little higher. Uh, it's 22 percent. So I mean, this could just be Royal Exchanges. Like if if I try again with Royal Exchanges, let, let's just see. Let's see if this increase. Yeah, 28 percent. I feel like this is Royal Exchanges or something. Maybe it's maybe it's tax collection casts. I have, I have no idea. I'm gonna what I'll, what I'll do here. I'll focus on let's say okay. First, I need some more faction coins. Let's see if excavating for faction coins. Let's see how much that'll that'll increase this. Do sixty three percent. So it's probably again faction coins. So I'm either one gonna want elf line or probably better. I'm gonna pick draw line. So. I mean, this is based on amount of clicks in this game. I I think I'm not sure which one. I'm just gonna. I think it's just gonna. I think Elfline's a little bit better. And then again, I'll go for the same faction coin researches, such as C400, C250, and C105. And then I'll get stuff like there. I, I know there's some good ones here, like E145. Maybe I should get some production ones as well. Just because, or I can just cast out my spells so I can afford the rest of the researches. That's probably a simpler solution. And like the spells, actually they don't last as long as I thought they were gonna. But I can still get um, S500, which is which is the overpowered one. So let's see, which which faction coin ones? Yeah, D320, and then I should probably get something like. C305, get some other assistant ones like this one and that one. And hopefully that'll give me give me enough real exchanges to get yeah, I, again, that's faction coin. This one is very mysterious. Still at 33%. I'm not really sure what it is. And people said it's a it's like a very time wally one. This is a strong mana regen boost, so I'll get that. I'll I'll probably get diamond pickaxe here. And just, yeah, do that. And that should help faction coins at least a little bit. I'll just try, I'll focus on getting more of these as I can. I'm, I think this is production of all built. Okay, no, I, I don't need that. Here's here's a faction coin one, so that will definitely help. Is there anything else I can get here? I don't think there's all that much. I mean, I, th I may just have enough faction coins. Here it is. It's again 200 dwarven faction exchanges. That's the same. That's literally the exact same thing. Why do they have the exact same requirement? That makes no sense. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be something else. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be Drundead. I know. So there's two new researches I can get here. There's this 77% one, which makes me think it's a building, and there's this time wall one. So I feel like if this is a building. I should, pr and then this is just a time wall research. So, like I've heard, this one is essentially like that, except it's evil instead of good. So, I feel like the bloodline I should pick is Goblin to help me get more buildings. Then I should probably get some researches that help buildings out. And am I? It's still seventy-seven percent. So it's not buildings. It's something else. It's maybe it's Royal Exchanges. It's probably Royal Exchanges. It's probably just. Some yeah, draw royal exchanges. So I picked the wrong bloodline, but hopefully I can still salvage this. Especially like if I yeah, just like the, with the right researches, it it can be very easy. Like like for example, yeah, nighttime is is so powerful to assistance that it should it should be pretty easy here. And S five hundred will just help everything. I feel like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that and then this and then tax collection when all the other spells are used up or are being used not used up but you know you know what i mean i should probably get some other assistant ones like this and this is this is mana regen but um i'm just gonna get assistance this should give me close to enough faction coins to get i think yeah i need i think i need 200 royal exchanges i'm so close also, didn't even look at what this research did. Is increase the production of 
of unique buildings based on mana regen, which is pretty good. I feel like that's a pretty powerful research, and now I should have enough to unlock this research, which is increase the production of all buildings based on mana produced and percentage of offline time spent in this game. That, that looks extremely powerful, so I could use it in my future builds. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do this time wall one by, like, being offline. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back two days later, and I finally have this research. It's probably, yeah, day and a half of evil time spent. It's increased blood frenzy multiplier based on the amount of times you cast your faction spell in the game. It's not really going to be all that useful if I'm not an evil faction. And there's still a few researches left. And... One of those actually sort of given a spoiler on, which is D480. It's literally, you have to be good for 12 hours, evil for 12 hours, and neutral for 12 hours, I think, in your reincarnation. So, yeah, that's very dumb, but that's what it is. So that's what I'm going to do. So it means I'll become a neutral faction. I won't even, I'm not even... I don't even think I need to pick a faction. I guess I, I will just because I'll just pick druids. And that's basically all, all I need to do. Now I just have to wait 12 hours. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later and there's an event running. So, yay. Well, anyway, um, I've actually checked all these. It's really, it's, it's again, two event factions. And, like, these are essentially just, like, collect like, a certain amount of orbs while affiliated with the... There's, like, the winter faction and the summer faction. This is, like, frost orbs while affiliated with the summer faction. Flame orbs while affiliated with the winterly. And this is, like, the summerian and the winter, winterly upgrades. I'm trying to get all these just to get all the quests. This one um, is just, yeah, collect a stack of 480 of any orbs while affiliated with... While affiliated with unaffiliated with either of the summer festival factions and this is the one that actually gives an upgrade collect a stack of at least 480 of any orbs while having all three upgrades of either um summary and or winterly and then this is the one i'm, I'm actually going to do now while, affi while affiliated with the fairies collect a stack of at least 720 of any orbs so also i've gotten d480 it's um 12 hours each alignment it's increased the production of all buildings based on the difference in time um, with, with the three alignments, a smaller difference produces a higher bonus. So, okay, interesting, but I still need to be some other faction. So what I'm going to do here is just, I'm just going to be, um, fairy. Just, just to try, just to, you know, get the, get this event feat. So I'll, I'll just do it like with this. And this actually gets me two. So that's really nice. I'm killing two birds with one stone here. But anyway, now I'm actually going to try to do the research upgrades. Also, the I haven't even shown you the the new upgrades here. The winterly, oh yeah, there's the winterly alliance, the summary alliance. I'm not going to really be in these any of these alliances yet. And then yeah, and of course these upgrades are all going to help quite a bit. So what I'm going to do now is just get these last two researches. I think yeah, I, I'm going to be. Um, I think it's dreamin'. That that's that's how I'm gonna say it. Dreamin', like demon withdraw. I'm I'm not sure exactly if if that's the thing you usually do, but I'm I'm just gonna say dreamin'. Um, so it looks like I can get this. It's probably again the, the same, the same like 200 draw royal exchanges. So that's what I'm going to do again. I just yeah I need to get you know the the faction coin researches and this should help me easily get like a enough also if i just spam tax collection i should be able to get enough royal exchanges to unlock the research here it is it's again 200 dro faction exchange and it's increased assistance production based on time spend this reincarnation it's extremely powerful for now but again it's Based on time spent this reincarnation, I probably should look up the formula because it could be powerful even if it was just like an hour or so in the reincarnation, especially for later reincarnations, like near ascension. So I'm, there's now just one more, and this is Droblin. So again, it's probably just the exact same thing. It probably isn't it isn't even all that interesting to, to even like talk about, but whatever, I'm, I'm going to 
you know, it's just it's just the same old same old deal. With yeah, here it is, and it's gain additional assistance based on the amount of non-unique buildings you own. So if I like buy all these buildings, that gets me. Let's see, that's is a total of 400 assistance, which is very solid. It could like be a replacement for C305, which is based on time spent offline in this reincarnation. So there's just one last research left, and this is the um, W560. I think I need to be a good faction for this. So I'm going to be, I think I'm just going to be the usual wary. And yeah, here it is. It's probably just, I just needed some, those two researches. And I got a trophy, Underworld Researcher. So this is increased clicking reward based on the amount of clicks in this game. So I'm probably not going to use that. But I got the trophy, Underworld Researcher, which is discover all the Underworld Researches. I think this is why I chose Reincarnation 34. This could mean that I have gotten all of the researches that are pre-Ascension, which is huge. Or at least I think it's huge. So... Yeah, I'm I'm gonna make a build out of this using Dwangel next reincarnation, and this is this is gonna be the most complicated build ever so far. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.